Welcome to this presentation. My name is Ricardo of the Habitat Mapping Team, and I'm going to show you some work I've been doing in the English Channel. The narrow sleeve of sea that defines Britain as an island holds a few surprises. It has the highest tides in mainland Europe. It is the busiest shipping lane in the world, with over 400 vessels crossing the Dover Strait daily. But its biggest surprise has been concealed to human eye until recently. In 2007, a group of researchers from Imperial College, led by Sanjeev Gupta, published a detailed description of acoustically derived bathymetry of the central channel. And it was a shock for the geological community. It showed shallow and filled Paleo River valleys with anastomosing channels, carved in bedrock, teardrop shaped islands, and elongated erosional grooves dissecting the seabed, and formed at a time when the coastline was close to the continental margin. All these features were compellingly similar to those in the geologically renowned channeled scablands in the USA, or even in ancient Martian valleys that have been interpreted as the result of catastrophic flooding events. Immense masses of water discharged in a short amount of time, molding dramatically the landscape. Gupta and colleagues attributed to these mega floods the cause for the carving of the modern Dover Strait, and the separation of England from the rest of the continent. Of course, the piece of news was picked up by newspapers and quickly turned into political allegory. Brexit 1.0, the one no one voted for. However, not all were convinced. The lack of data and the low resolution of the bathymetry, about 20 meters per pixel at best, left many questions open. Many critiqued the results and several counter studies were published, proposing alternative hypotheses with only normal riverine or marine processes as the cause for erosion. Enter Cephas. Cephas is involved in the Marine Protected Areas, MPAs, monitoring program, and surveys are carried out regularly at different sites. Not only do these surveys include the collection of high resolution, up to one meter per pixel, multi-beam echo sound and bathymetry data, but also drop camera toes. And it just so happens that three MPAs fall within this hotly debated Paleo Valley system in the English Channel. This provides a unique opportunity to examine the mega flood hypothesis at an unprecedented detail, to test it under the magnifying lens. And new results are already coming in. High resolution data recently collected from offshore overfalls and offshore Brighton MCZs have revealed previously unknown bed form assemblages, which are indicative of very high energy erosion. The streamlined bedrock furrows you can see to the top right, for example, and these almost perfect teardrop shaped bedrock hills at bottom right are forms that are impossible to obtain in normal lowland fluvial conditions. Even more intriguing are the results from the HD camera toes. Isolated, very large boulders, some bigger than two meters in diameter, are scattered along the Paleo Valley margin on flat terrain. These boulders cannot have been transported there by either marine or fluvial currents or gravity from slopes, so their presence might be the proverbial smoking gun that confirms the mega flood hypothesis. We have seen how this study is important in the progress of understanding the English Channel evolution and mega flood related studies in general. But how is it relevant to CFIS? The uniqueness of the English Channel geomorphology has already been picked up by policymakers, and in offshore of a false MCZ, the mega flood features are listed as protected features, where they should be maintained in favorable conditions. This study improves greatly the delineation of the mega flood related features and could be used as a detailed baseline document to refine the de designation in offshore overflows. It could also be taken as a first step to extend the protected status to the other two MPAs where the features are present. And perhaps to look for further offshore marine geoparks as is already happening in the USA. The mega floods might sound ancient and disconnected from our daily life at CFAS. However, they are essentially the cause for what we observe and map now in the English Channel. Erosion and boulders have created topographical oases on flat bathymetry, 
where many species can attach and thrive. A deeper understanding of the geological history of the seabed can help in the study and mapping of the distribution of modern habitats and assist in protecting these submerged landscapes.